outside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into this. Oh my god. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon class lesson will take place. Uh, probably only going to play for like 20 more minutes. Minutes? Minutes. You step into the massive cooking arena and the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they can need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no, we have to show our stuff. Well, what if I totally blow it? I'm not gonna blow anything. Except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're gonna earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. She'd do really well in France. Welcome, students, to the cooking area. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over to you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Sanders Coon. <laughs> hey, Colonel, uh... Would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is, me and you, if that wasn't clear. Want, want to be my partner? Sure, Mr. Lee, I'll prepare our station. <laughs> Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. You are a slut, and you have betrayed your best friend for Colonel Sanders and his hot piece of ass that he is. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner! Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Looks like you'll have to pick for her. First off, fuck Pop. We're not gonna pick him. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but it's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you ask to be Miriam's partner? Clank. Fuck Pop. Fuck you, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay, I already ate. I fucking hate Pop. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of the school is, even in this juncture. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roil, roll back and forth. Now hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Tissue? I hardly know you. Ha ha ha. You get it? Clank judders and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression this is a sign of affection. <laughs> Looks like you two will be fine. Oh dear. So I'm gonna fuck Colonel Sanders and she's gonna fuck the robot. Sounds good. See, I'm glad I chose him instead of Pop. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to be keeping it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island, but it takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. What dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? That's a Mr. Lee joke. That it is. That it is, my friend. Let's see. Stick tatari is easy enough. It's fancy and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' minds. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Now, steak sounds really good, but I know Colonel Sanders. And if I have any hindering on what's gonna happen if I pick those mashed potatoes and gravy, it's gonna give him an idea. A very wonderful idea. <gasps> oh, I see those hearts. Yes, Colonel san I've always been something of a down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes and gravy? Yes. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me. Per picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Looks like, th looks like things are getting fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? You shut the fuck up, Ashley. We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. You shut the fuck up, Ashley. Sanders' heart is my business. You better keep your fingers off my man. Your man? I will I will slap the shit out of you. Oh god, that's a music change and a half. Turned into doom real fucking quick. Did someone draw for me? Ah, no, jeez, Van Dan. 
While I'm over here crushing Mr. Lee's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That's a deal, remember? Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into a boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Now, howdy there, Ashley. Van Van. You working on a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looked like Mr. Lee was struggling, so I offered to give him a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs in need of a lot of mentoring. I was gonna say, Colonel, uh, Sanders Coon, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! <laughs> Doubt it. Fuck this guy. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whether- God, this music is so not fitting. Fuck. Personally, I have no doubts about whoever- whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to contact creations worthy- Ugh, I fucked that up. But Colonel, if you ask me, it might be a better partner than you than this thing that has positioned yourself in your station. Fuck you, Ashley. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like thigh and drumstick. It just makes sense. Fuck you. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel. If you don't watch out. Aw, oh, she's even fucking winking. You get that bitch ass, bitch ass out of here, you bitch ass. Piece of shit. Piece of fucking. Ah, uh, goddamn. This is this piss. Ashley is. I can we not have this music? <laughs> Ashley is going hard. At, Ashley is really going at you hard. Ishli is not making me hard, she is going at me hard. If you need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Hunk of hunks in your time of need. Oh, I need to go to I need to go to Colonel Coon. F hey, what's happening, DJ Mudkips? Finger looking good. I gotta I gotta I gotta go I gotta go to I gotta go to Hunk of Hunks. Colonel Sanders Coon. I'm here to I'm here to learn and express myself via cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders Coon chose me. Isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements, from contracts to handshakes. I took on Mr. Lee as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you Mr. Lee, has Mr. Lee's natural talent or their loyalty. Ooh, Ooh he's complimenting me. That's, that's, I'm gonna fuck that guy. Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for Sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corkies and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize in the tension of the moment your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps. You know the well while your attention was elsewhere. I know, I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mounds of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Beautiful, is it not? Colonel, oh! Whoo! Whoo there! That's a, that's a sexy man. This is, this is getting a little, no fucking, no, no kidding, dude. Look at this, how can you not like, watch this and have Colonel Sanders coon wink at you, not get aroused. Colonel Sanders holds the spark out at you. You reach out your hand and grab a hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you are holding the same spark, and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this world, crazy world stops. Your eyes lock, the moment is electric, and time stands still. If you love something, you set it free. Oh, is this a confession from Colonel Sanders? 
Together, you dig the, deten the utensils into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. And you see Aishley, the sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Sanders Coon. Oh god. And then we're back to this. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the sport full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid but beautiful face. Oh god, that was intense. Van Van, do something. Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizing it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Now hold on there, Mr. Lee. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoon, Phil, you'd both be prepared to eat wherever it lands. I mean, I'd eat it. The floor looks pretty clean. Not gonna lie. Can I has potato face? Fuck you, Pop. Van Van rushes over. Covered, A covered dish is in his hand. Oh, shit. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus and silky salt water sauce placed on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. Okay, bud. You've ignored me for too long. This ends now. It is I who will have the first bite, and you will all look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van who swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Oh, he's gonna fucking die. Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. I hope this guy dies. Too late. It has been eaten. Uh, I think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <sighs> old memes. Old memes. Oh, no! It killed him! <laughs> Everyone step back! Don't take it! Oh my god, it actually fucking killed the guy. Okay, this game just took a transition that I wasn't expecting. You look at the plate and the rest of it's gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped into Pop's mouth. Good lord, man. Oh no, he's gonna die too, isn't he? Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then is almost back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. The fuck is this? Tastes like poison. Of course, a little gremlin would survive eating that, but the fucking other student just fucking dies. The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are most motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment, and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm, enthusiasm for trying new things despite obvious danger has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. Fuck, of course a little gremlin would be immune to that. I'm not sure professors here make enough money. Um, hello, I've turned into a ghost over here. Fuck this guy, dude. Seeing that you're shaking up by that really annoying student and all of his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. He fucking looks like Dio. <laughs> like in that same pose. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home and hold your hand. I mean, what, like for real, oh come on. <laughs> Poor guy, he just got fucked. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. That night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands on the quads in the young glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know that they're not a great representation of my skills. I, I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. <gasps> Sanders Coon. Taste of them reminded me of why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously more important to them in, in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him that you're developing feelings for him. Sanders Kun? Yes, Mr. Lee. There's there's something I need to tell you. Uh -huh. Oh, hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Ah, shit. <laughs> you see, when I was just a boy, 
I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. Oh, he's crying. Hold on. And every day since, I've been working toward that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights. Like, so many weights. This man killed a guy today. Like, he, he, he should be going to prison. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating upon a shooting star. Hey, no, I... you... shut up. I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Look at my hair. It's even in the shape of a star. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? Yeah, no, you, you should be going to prison. You can't prove that. I can. I can, I can rewind the footage. <laughs> I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance you hear a long and sad sigh. <laughs> oh, Get fucked, idiot. Forget him. We're talking about me. 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 I'm the hero. What the fuck? What is this shit? I'm the sport monster. I'm here to fight a hero. Gasp. I think I left the fridge door open later, nerds. How dare you threaten me? I was just letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Shit, the fuck is this? Be afraid. Be very afraid of me because I'm a monster, see? Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just a coincidence? Before you can discuss syntax any further. It's a turn-based fight sequence. What will you do? Um. Well, shit, I wasn't expecting this. All right. Final Fantasy up in this bitch. Go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. Does one damage. It just got real. The attack is really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. And they spit hot gravy on you. You take one damage. I'm gonna defend this time. Which defense will you use? Trepidation. You continue to stay back and endure whatever comes your way. It seems like a pretty weird strategy, but okay, sure, you do you. Spork monster focuses their mash mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. It's growing larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? I'm gonna attack. Cook with love. Spork monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble, they go on the attack once again. Aw oh, shit, that's two damage. Fuck. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive. Need to attack. Cook with love. Aw oh, shit. Feeling vulnerable, Spork Monster prepares its ultimate attack, a rounded edge. Vil vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summons, summons the energy of a thousand chickens. Hot pie power pinch! What the fuck is this game? It does 10 damage, oh shit. Spork Monster is defeated. You, you saved me. An injured Spork Monster spews steam into the night. Oh. Okay, this is where Twitch comes in handy. Spare him or kill him. Dun, 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 dun. I need your help. Quick chat. Spare him or kill him. It's like what is that? The, the speedrunners do it in fucking in Metroid. It's just like that. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you ten more seconds. If I don't hear shit, I'm just gonna kill him. <laughs> All right, that's it, he's dead. You know student will walk the quad in fear again. This monster messed with the wrong chef. You readied your final attack. You'll never survive my student debt loan destruction. And it does 10 damage. That is more accurate than I wanted it to be. Spork monster is completely va vaporized. Colonel Sanders looks in on in awe. You continue to surprise me, Mr. Lee. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears to be a cookbook, but on closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover to find a library card stuck in inside. The last name to have signed it out is Borco. Hmm. Borco, that name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely debated, depleted. <laughs> the world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. <laughs> oh shit. He's in my bedroom now. The Major Colonel Sanders flashes your eyes as you fall asleep. 
He must have helped you get home in your tired state. You don't know if you could have made it, made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. Feel the covers being pulled up as you are tucked in tightly as he kisses your forehead and goes, I love you, Lee Kun. Good night, my colonel. Shit. <laughs> in your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders for some reason. Your uh, Colonel, for some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. This is beautiful. Oh no, there's the dead guy. You wake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you have. Were they memories or premonitions? I'm actually gonna call it here, and I think I can. Ah, oh. is that where I'm at right now? If anything, I'll just skip it next screen. Um, thank you all for joining the stream. Um, I like this game a lot. This is actually a lot of fun, and I'm going to finish it sometime this week. So I'm also going to be posting highlights on YouTube. Check the description and my Twitch for my YouTube channel. And then follow me on Twitch. Yeah. Um, I also have a Discord. Um, join the Mr. Lee Super Gem Fighters Discord. And that's about as much as I'm going to do right now. So thank you all for watching.